the clitoris. Mm -hmm. We got a great question where a woman wrote in and said, I don't like touching my clitoris directly. And that's very common. So I thought we'd talk for a few minutes about indirect clitoral stimulation and then how to work up to direct clitoral stimulation because the key is really blood flow and arousal. Mm -hmm. You always want to use oil, never touch a clitoris with a dry hand, and then you want to tease your clitoris. Go to all the other areas of your vulva and massage first. Yes. You know, there's this tendency to do, like go for the clitoris first, right? Um, but really that should be the last area. We should be aroused like, you know, your clitoris, we need to tease and feel good and, and then and then touch your clitoris. And it doesn't have to be directly on the glands. The glands, we used to think, had 8,000 nerve endings. And just recently, uh, a doctor in Oregon, Dr. Blair Peters, discovered that we actually have 10,000 nerve endings in the glands of our clitoris. You know, that, that is sensitive. So, you know, we need to be careful touching indirect stimulation, like touching the shaft, touching all around. It doesn't have to be directly on the glands. The clitoral gland attaches to the pubic bone with this ligament we call the clitoral shaft. You can take your two fingers, go above your clit, press in, go side to side. You'll feel a rubber band. Mm -hmm. That's indirect clit stim. And it makes sense. You have all these nerve endings and you can kind of go like ding, 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 ding. Start there. The pubic mound the outer labia, the vaginal opening, mm -hmm. work up to it and go slow. Do a light touch with one finger down the middle. Yes. <laughs> Don't just take a vibe on forward, put it down or take your full <laughs> hand and start slow, right. like kissing, soft kisses first. Right. right. I, I like and that. work up to it. Yes. I, and, and also on my, one of my favorite moves when I was a teenager was putting a finger on either side of the clitoral shaft and just, you know, fluttering my fingers up and down. Um, and then that actually moves the glands of the clitoris. And from that movement, you get stimulation without direct touch. Without friction, right? Yes. And pressure. Mm -hmm. So it can be a preference. You might not like direct clitoral stimulation like ever, and that's fine. You can still have an orgasm without touching your clitoral gland directly. Mm -hmm. Many women prefer indirect clitoral stimulation. So play with it, just try it, build up to it, do soft strokes over it. Um, we were talking earlier, uh, Laura, and both of us start with indirect clitoral stimulation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Vibes on low. Mm -hmm. And then as we have an orgasm or two and we're fully aroused, then we start stimulating our clitoral gland directly. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, the clitoris, what we see is just the very tip of the iceberg. Most of our clitoris is inside the body. So we have to remember that too. It's not just all about the clitoral glands. There's so much more. So go slow, try different techniques. Um, watch yourself in the mirror, see how your clitoris will kind of come out a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. She gets aroused and that might be when she likes to be touched, but you don't have to touch your clitoral glands to have mm -hmm. an orgasm. And if that's your preference, that's completely fine. Yes.